Now you see it. Now you don't. The letter E vanishes when the motion stops. In this experiment, the lines with the black squares appear to be crooked. But when the color is changed to green, they are straight. These are two of dozens of visual experiments being conducted at San Francisco's Smith Kettlewell Eye Research Foundation, where a team headed by Dr. Ken Nakayama is studying human visual perception and specifically how motion is involved in helping us to see. Dr. Nakayama creates these experiments using Amigas running deluxe paint software from Electronic Arts. Well, the Amiga, especially at the time that uh it emerged about two years ago was really the only thing on the block to do the kind of things that we wanted to do. It has a really great graphics capability, as uh, you're probably aware. It has special hardware, which enables you to move images around without even the CPU knowing it's happening, essentially. So you can just do things very, very fast. You can't do it on the previous machine. Dr. Nakayama feels that Amigas and micros in general are opening a whole new field of vision research. The motion that you can achieve on a computer screen simply cannot be duplicated by standard eye tests. People here are pioneering the use of low-cost micros with technically sophisticated graphics in vision research. And eventually, these Amiga graphics experiments may end up in clinical settings to test actual patients with vision problems. In San Francisco, for the Computer Chronicles, I'm Wendy Woods.